Module three is all about um, studying and test taking. It's probably one that you will have the most like tools that you can use um, on a daily basis in your classes that you're going through here. Um, I would say it's probably one of the, the ones that I wish I would have had <laughs> going through. I will share a funny story with you now. Uh, as I used to always talk about in class when we come to multiple choice exams, I did an entire course that we have to take as a teacher called assessment at university. They tell you what questions you should write for kids and how to write them and how to make them important and how to make them relevant and all this great advice on how to do it. And you know, multiple choice exams are bad. And then the final exam for that class, 125 multiple choice questions. So, uh, yeah, multiple choice exams will be a part of your life. I thought it'd be advantageous to kind of go over how to approach them, how to write them. So that's part of uh, this unit, how to write essay questions and what the teachers are actually looking for is another section. We'll go over how to write notes, uh, which is a, um, you know, a, an actual skill. Find out what actually works for you. For me, it was drawing, drawing and, and adding, you know, little thought bubbles and things in there was like my way of kind of piecing everything together. So, um, you know, that was how I did it. Um, finally, there's one on six habits of, you know, highly successful students. So do you have to do all six? Nope. But if you find one that works for you, it was worth it. So with that in mind, uh, go find some tools that you can actually use in the classroom. All right. Finish up this unit. Hopefully you'll find one or two gems.